voucher. He was from Albany. And Joe was wearing a fashionable for the 1940s straw hat on his head with a big brim. You've seen him. And as the second game was getting started, it was becoming mid to late afternoon. The sun was in the western sky, shining right in Joe's eyes. So what did he do? Well, he pulled the brim of that hat way down snug over his eyes. His family also says he might have been napping too. In either case, Joe out here in La La Land and the bleachers, he doesn't see Fred Hutchinson, big right-hander on the mound for the Tigers, and he doesn't see number nine. The great Tim Williams, the splendid splinter, yeah. step up to the plate in the bottom of the first Thank inning. Ted gets a hold of a changeup, and the ball is going, it's going, yeah. it's going. Joe doesn't see it, it hits him right on the head. Joe was fine, fine. You folks have been listening to, you know, concussion protocols too much. <laughs> Joe was fine. We gave him smelling salts, put him right back in his seat after he woke up. But he's got a big lump on his head, and more important for documentation purposes, he's got a hole in his hat. And a Boston Globe photographer is on the